page, Shelley from Best Buy Canada's blog. Last week I did a review on the Insignia Air Fryer. This air fryer is a two-level air fryer and it's a compact countertop air fryer you can use to cook almost anything. This week I thought I would give you an idea of what you can cook in an air fryer and I think a few of the things that I cooked are going to surprise you. The Insignia air fryer that I tested out has a rotisserie function. So it comes with a rotisserie spit that you can use to put on a whole chicken and it will rotate that chicken within the cavity of the air fryer. Now I did this, this is the first time that I've ever did a rotisserie chicken at home and it was absolutely amazing. I was shocked at how great this chicken turned out and it only took about 40 minutes total from start time to cook it. I used a meat thermometer just to ensure that it was cooked on inside. So it was about 160 degrees at 40 minutes. Here's a look at how it turned out. As you can see, it was golden brown and everybody thought it was delicious. Next up, I did some baked potatoes in the air fryer. Now, baked potatoes are something that I don't normally make anywhere other than the microwave. But if you have an air fryer, you really need to try making baked potatoes in it. The insides are cooked perfectly and the skin is extra crispy. To make them, all I did was wash them and place them in the air fryer. My kids and I whipped up some mini fruit pies that we placed in the air fryer. We just used tart shells and we popped some tart shells on top of some of them and on others we just let them open. That's a blackberry filling and all we did was use two cups of blackberries, some sugar, one teaspoon of cornstarch and a dash of lemon juice. I baked them on a 325 degree oven for about 20 minutes and then I checked them and made sure that the pie crust was cooking. Once I was sure it was cooking, then I lowered the temperature and let them go for another 10 minutes. They didn't turn out looking so fancy, but they were a good little snack and it was a lot faster than making a pie in the oven. When we go out for breakfast in restaurants, we always order hash browns with our scrambled eggs or Benny. And so I wanted to try to make my own hash browns. And I've actually never thought to make these at home because you can never quite get them as crispy as you need to. But I did them in the air fryer and they turned out great. I cut two potatoes up into chunks. I boiled them for approximately five minutes, drained them, and then I tossed them in a bowl of uh, with a dash of olive oil and a few spices. I used oregano and uh, salt and pepper and a little bit of paprika. I used the French fry preset on my Insignia air fryer and it was about 15 minutes. Halfway through the cooking process I did flip them a little bit but as you can see they turned out golden brown. They were really good. I put a few of the hash browns in a tiny cast iron pan I had and I dropped an egg in the center and I cooked it for about 15 minutes. So you can make a skillet with your hash browns and it, it will be one of the best skillets you've ever had. Air fryer beef jerky is really easy to make. All I did was slice up a few pieces of flank steak and throw them in a marinade. And I let it sit overnight, so it was about 24 hours, and then I popped them in the air fryer. You can cook it for about an hour and a half at 200 degrees. So it's a slow cook and then check it halfway through just to see how it's doing. My boys loved it. It was so good and it's a lot less expensive to make your own beef jerky than it is to buy it in the store. Made air fry potato chips using my mandolin and two potatoes. What I did was slice the potatoes very thin and then I placed them in ice water for 15 minutes. Once I drained them from the ice water, I added a dash of olive oil and a few spices and I used the same spices I used for my hash browns. So it was just a, a little bit of oregano, salt and pepper and paprika, but you can make any kind of homemade potato chips. So if you like salt and vinegar or barbecue, you can just change the spices. You should layer them a lot more thinly than I did. I used the second rack after a little while so that everything could be a little thinner because it did take longer to cook when they were all bunched up together. But I couldn't, I had sliced them so thin that I couldn't peel them apart very well. So I had to cook them for a while before I could peel them apart. It doesn't take very long to cook them when they're laid thinly on the rack. I did rotate between the two racks halfway through. But take a look at how they turned out. They were amazing and I made a quick dip with dill and a little bit of sour cream and mayo and it was really, really good.
like homemade potato chips, you can air fry apple slices or fruit slices or any other kind of vegetable. I dehydrated some apple slices using the Insignia air fryer and it's a great way to dehydrate fruit if you'd like to store it for long term or you like it as a quick snack. You can also make so many different desserts in the air fryer, in your air fryer. So I made some air fryer brownies. I just added some cocoa, flour, sugar, a couple of eggs, and I popped it in the air fryer and I baked it for about 15 minutes. This was one of my favorite air fryer recipes. It was so good and it was just enough for two or three people. But quicker than making things in the oven and having an air fryer on your countertop means that if your kitchen's hot because it's summer you don't have to heat up your oven to make a delicious treat and you can do any kind of variation once you have a basic recipe so i added some white chocolate chips to this brownie and you can add chocolate sauce or you know just top it with ice cream that's just a look at a few of the things that I've made in the Insignia air fryer. And there are so many more. If you just do a search online, you'll see so many different air fry recipes. Take a look at my post on Best Buy's blog for a better idea of how I made all of these delicious dishes in the Insignia air fryer. Thanks for watching.